Hi guys, this is week 30 and I'm using the Citrus Twist Kits August Kits. Um, I had started last night but my camera died so I carried on this morning. Um, so I've, all I've done is got some papers out, some journaling cards and my photos. So I had cut a title out of just from my silhouette um, but the white didn't show up very well on the pattern paper that I had picked so all I did was smush some green ink onto it. Now fortuitously enough this is week 30 and I happened to see that there was a 3 and a 0 together on this paper. So to just to highlight that I'm going to colour it in with just um, a gel pen. Uh, and then I went to stick my letters down and it really, they still didn't stand out enough even though I had coloured them in. So I'm going to use, I'm going to end up using a couple of ink pads just to try and dull this down a bit. So I started with my Brilliant Ink which made it sort of shiny but not really dulled down. So in the end I used the Hero Arts Unicorn White and that worked a treat. And so now I'm just going to use the Multi Matte Medium just to uh, stick these letters down. And then I'm just going to add a wee puffy sticker on the side here, but I decide after I've put it down, there are so many I could have used, but I just went for a wee heart. Um, I decided I might add some stitching through there, so I've just peeled the sticker off, um, done the stitching, and then I can pop that back on again. So I'm just going to quickly round all my photos and just the few cards that I had there. And I'm going to stick down these wee photos here. So I liked the background, but the... Um, the sort of title on it didn't really suit so I've just covered that up with my photo and made sure that the other square photo matched where I stuck that one down. So this photo here is my Saturday morning routine so I'm just going to keep this really simple and adding a tiny stamp there and then I'm going to do some journaling later on. While I'm stamping I'm also going to stamp on this photo here so it's hard to see on the video but the stamp actually says stormy and what I wanted it to say was storm so I just carefully inked it up to not ink the Y and then add another one of these puffy stickers. It's just sort of sticking slightly off the photo so I've trimmed the edge of it. And I'm just going through this ephemera um, seeing what I might want to use. I wanted to use the sweet but not the girl so I have just cut the sweet off the top and I'll still be able to use the girl later on if I wanted to and all I've done is just stapled that down with my tiny attacher and adding a tiny bit of journaling. So I'm just going through these ephemera pieces to see if there's anything else that I wanted to use. Um, I wasn't sure about those doodle hearts on that photo, but in the end I think they ended up just being the perfect shape to fit there. And there were also a couple of pieces off the cut apart sheet that I wanted to use as well. So I'm just going to cut that out and then stick that simply down onto my photo. So with these labels, a really easy way to cut the corners out is to use a single hole punch. They never really line up perfectly, but it's a lot quicker than trying to do it with your scissors. So I'm just going to stick this one down over the top of the photo and then add a wee stamp on top. I was tempted to try to use another one of these flamingo clips but I mean really it made no sense at all so I've stayed with the doodle hearts and then I'm just going to add a wee stamped sentiment down the bottom as well. So as I was cutting out uh, a label I also found one that worked perfectly with this photo so I couldn't decide whether to use it or not. And um, 
those of you who are observant will see that I never actually stick that down until I go to move my spread later on and realize I haven't, but I actually do keep that there in the end. So for this card here, I'm just gonna add a wee label. I'm just sort of sticking that under the photo. I'm gonna add another one of these puffy stickers and then just a little bit of journaling. I feel like it needs something else, so I want to add some stamping. And there's a, a, a stamp in here that says in the mood, but actually I wasn't in the mood. So I'm going to stamp in the mood and then I'm going to use a little bit of masking. And I tried to cheat, but I couldn't. So in the end, I just got a bit of washi tape. So I'm going to mask off one word out of this stamp, which says not. So not in the mood becomes the sentiment. And that's it for this week. There's a couple more process videos on the screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. Catch you next time.